Hi, I'm Brenton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Today, we're gonna to talk about the important digestive enzymes you need to know for the MCAT. Hormones play a critical role in regulating the digestive process. Several hormones are involved in the regulation of the digestive system, including gastrin, secretin, cholecystokinin, or CKK, and ghrelin. The digestive process begins in the mouth, where the first step of mechanical and chemical digestion takes place. We know the mechanical digestion is done by the teeth, which physically breaks down the food into smaller pieces, while the chemical digestion is done by enzymes in the saliva, such as amylase, which begins the breakdown of carbohydrate. As the food is chewed and mixed with saliva, it forms a bolus that is transported down into the stomach. The stomach is lined with several types of cells that play different roles in the digestive process. These include mucus cells, chief cells, parietal cells, and G cells, as well as ghrelin. Mucus cells are specialized cells that produce and secrete mucus. Mucus acts as a protective barrier for the stomach lining, preventing the acid and enzymes produced by the stomach from causing damage. Mucus also acts as a lubricant, helping to mix and move food through the stomach. Chief cells, also known as peptic cells, are responsible for producing and secreting enzymes that aid in protein digestion. These enzymes include pepsinogen, which is activated by a low pH to form pepsin, which then in turn breaks down proteins into smaller peptides. Parietal cells are responsible for producing and secreting hydrochloric acid, as well as intrinsic factor. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid that helps kill any pathogens that may be present in the food, as well as helping to lower the pH of the stomach to around two. This is necessary for the activation of pepsin, as we saw earlier, as well as other enzymes involved in protein digestion. Intrinsic factor is a glycoprotein that helps in the absorption of vitamin T12 in the small intestines, which is an essential vitamin for life. Gastrin is a hormone that is produced by G cells in the stomach, as well as the duodenum. Gastrin is a hormone that is produced by G cells in the stomach and the duodenum. In addition to its role in the digestion process, gastrin also plays a role in regulating the pH of the stomach by stimulating the release of hydrochloric acid. This acid helps lower the pH of the stomach, which is necessary for activating pepsin and other enzymes involved in protein digestion. Gastrin also promotes the growth and repair of the stomach lining by stimulating the proliferation of cells in the stomach. Gastrin levels in the body are regulated by a number of different factors. The presence of food in the stomach and duodenum, particularly of a protein, will stimulate the release of gastrin, which makes sense. If we have a lot of protein in the stomach, we want to break that down into peptides. And by increasing the amount of hydrochloric acid, we'll increase our amount of pepsin and thereby be able to break down more proteins. Gastrin levels also increase in response to certain hormones, such as secretin or cholecystokinin, CKK, which are released in response to the presence of food in the small intestine. We'll get to this in a moment. Additionally, gastrin plays a role in the regulation of other stomach functions, such as gastric motility and blood flow. Gastrin can stimulate the contractions of the stomach muscles, which helps to mix and grind the food, as well as move it through the digestive tract. Gastrin also increases blood flow to the stomach, which helps to provide the necessary nutrients and oxygen for the cells of the stomach. This allows them to continue functioning properly. Together, these cells work to create an optimal environment for the breakdown and absorption of the foods we eat. Mucus cells protect the stomach lining, Chief cells break down proteins, and parietal cells produce the acid and intrinsic factor that are necessary for proper digestion. Understanding the role of these cells in the stomach is important for the MCAT and for understanding human physiology. Secretin is a hormone that is produced by S cells in the duodenum. It stimulates the pancreas to release bicarbonate, which neutralizes stomach acid as it enters the small intestine. This helps to protect the small intestine from the acidic environment of the stomach. Secretin also stimulates the release of water and electrolytes from the pancreas, which helps to break down the food and aid in, you guessed it, nutrient absorption. You want to remember that the small intestine's big role is to absorb more nutrients. Cholecystokinin, or CCK, is a hormone that is produced by eye cells in the small intestines. It stimulates the release of bile from the gallbladder, which helps them to emulsify fats, thereby making it easier for the fat to be broken down. CCK also slows the emptying of the stomach and increases the release of enzymes from the pancreas, which aid in the breakdown of fats and proteins. Finally, we have ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hormone that is produced by the stomach and regulates appetite, it makes us hungry. Ghrelin levels increase when the stomach is empty and decrease when the stomach is full. This signals to the brain that it's time to initiate eating. These hormones work together in a coordinated fashion to regulate the digestive process and ensure that food is broken down and absorbed at the appropriate rate. For example, when food enters the stomach, it stimulates the release of gastrin, 
which in turn stimulates the release of stomach acid and also triggers the release of CCK and secretin from the small intestines. These hormones then regulate the release of enzymes and bicarbonate from the pancreas and bile from the liver to aid in the breakdown and absorption of food. Overall, hormones play a vital role in regulating the digestive process, from the release of stomach acid to the release of enzymes from the pancreas to the regulation of appetite. Understanding the role of these hormones in the digestive system is important for the MCAT as well as for understanding human physiology. Thank you so much for watching our video on the important enzymes you need to know for the MCAT, and I'll see you next time.